Well, hello to everybody. Welcome to our coverage of the first day of the competition. It may be an overused phrase, but uh, everyone really does start out equal on this day. Stature and reputation and history all irrelevant, albeit momentarily. This is the game everybody, no matter who they support, can be. First day of the competition, always a special day and the cause for universal optimism. Well, cup competitions have been getting a, a raw deal because of downgrade and importance, but these games still offer a, a hold-your-breath ordeal that can be as good as anything out there. Just listen to the sense of anticipation here. What an atmosphere. This sounds important. This sounds as if it matters. And already we're underway here. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Hugo Lloris. His lightning-fast reactions and all-round shot-stopping ability make him a formidable obstacle for opposition strikers. And you'd always back him, Peter, in a one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't just stick to his penalty area, though. He dominates the entire defensive third, sweeping up behind his defence and, and getting them shifting forward once more. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Ricardo Pereira. Bruno Fernandes. Here it comes. It's come through and he's had a quick look up to meet it. And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Coman. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Portugal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Ruben Neves. Still goalless at the moment. Mbappe tries lifting it over. Going for goal! Oh, shame, that was nicely worked. Oh, it was such a clever pass that plummets the defence and it could well be revisited, this. And he has been fouled there. Played back in. Ruben Diaz gets into the right position to intercept. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Goes for goal! And that certainly packed a punch. Mbappe. Coman. Coman was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Mbappe breaks on here. Pogba. What an adventurous run from a defender. Shoots! Goal! France! And France are in front. Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. France have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this all goes well now. Place it over to the other flank. Coman. Oh, some tackle that. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Ruben Diaz is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Conte. And it's Pogba. It's 
a brilliant interception. That's gone a long way up and away. Griezmann. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Dashing forward at pace. Ruben Neves. Fakir gets it back. A real chance to break. He's left his man. That intervention. And the shot! They've done it! And already they're looking to run away with it. Fakir did well there. He was on to it in a trice. I doubt he'll score too many, which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. So that's... And the whistle goes for half-time. Do it back on the first 45 minutes. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? France in control at half-time, 2-0. And the game has already resumed here. No changes at half-time that we're aware of. Pavard, Koeman, Fakir! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Mbappe, oh, sweet feet. Now can he finish? Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Gets away from his opponents. He's gone for it! That has certainly tested the keeper. Pizzi simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Has a hit! Big relief, it just needed better contact. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Hernandez plays it backwards, and they'll try again. Coman. Coman! Looking back on that, it was some save, and potentially a big moment for the keeper and this team. France have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Fakir taking his leave here having got himself on the score sheet. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager is probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in, and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. The counter is on for Portugal. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Hernandez. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? And here's Griezmann. Turns and goes back. Forward it goes. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Hoists it forward. Bernardo Silva gets the better of his man. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And he has shown him a yellow card. I just think it was a, a cheap foul to give away.
France making consecutive changes here. Gets up to head it! It's broken loose. Shooting chance! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Bruno Fernandes. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's put paid to a promising move. What a ball this has turned out to... Has a goal! Oh, he's tripped him right on the cusp of the penalty area. France present their opponents with the best possible chance here. And that's one back! A time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. Well, that's the way to take a penalty. Stand up, pick your spot, and blast it home. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. And here's Bagnetta. France probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. France need to hold on for a few more moments. Throw in. Pepe drives it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Matuidi. And it's Ben Yedda. Mbappe. And it's played forward. Ricardo Pereira. Ricardo Pereira plays it forward. And that's it. France are through. Only a 